Millions of Americans are taking to the road and to the skies, hoping to reach their loved ones for Thanksgiving. Yeah, an estimated 48 million people are expected to travel at least 50 miles between now and Sunday. That's a lot of people and a lot of miles they're logging. Overnight, traffic in Los Angeles was nearly at a standstill. Oh, look at that. Wow. Y'all, this is why we live <laughs> where we live, that we don't live in a big city. Yeah, this is near the airport. People were trying to beat some of the rush, apparently, that is expected to get even more hectic today. Yeah, we'll take Washington Road over yes. that. Any day of the week. <laughs> News 12 NBC 26's Brittany Craig joins us live now at the Augusta Regional Airport. And Brittany, we know Augusta is no LA, but we are expecting more traffic on the roads and in the skies as, as we move along. Yeah, obviously it won't look that crazy over here as what you guys just saw, but still AAA is saying a record number of people will be traveling for this holiday season. A lot of people checking in over here and then getting in the these crazy airport lines. But despite how many people you see behind me now, AAA says most people, most travelers are actually choosing to drive over anything else. Now to help with some of that traffic congestion here at home, both our Georgia and South Carolina sides are suspending lane closures. So no big construction getting in your way if you're going to be one of those people hitting the roads. The crowdsourcing traffic app Waze actually released some info on what you can expect. It says today is when you're most likely to see big tie-ups on the road. It says last year users reported more crashes, traffic hazards, and traffic jams than average. They also say that Sunday is a, another bad day to travel. They say crashes were up by double, 200 percent than normal. So obviously not a good time to travel as everyone is trying to come back home. So what do you do? You end up in some of those crazy situations. Now, Waze actually has a partnership with GDOT, but obviously you can use it on both sides of the river. And Georgia and South Carolina also have the 511 service apps. And I actually just bumped into another traveler here, Meredith. Austin Rose wants me to tell you hi and go Steelers. <laughs> of course he wanted to say go Steelers. Oh, my goodness. And with the change of temperature, it's a good time when you're talking about your car to check your tire pressure. I know that I had to add some air to mine. Yeah, this change in temperature is crazy. You need to check your tire pressure, especially if you're going to be driving somewhere far. But it might be a good time to also just check your tire thread as well to me tread as well and make sure you also have a spare tire you do not want to end up in one of those crazy traffic jam situations and you don't have a way out so it might also not hurt to pack maybe some snacks just in case too live in richmond county Brittany craig on your side